All right, our first question is from Brady Thomas. How do you develop the upper chest? Ugh. Yeah. Heavy barbell incline. Yeah. Just, you know, it's you know what's so funny is that it, we, growing up um, in the 90s and then early 2000s and working out, the exercise for a long time, the exercise that every guy compared himself to other guys with was the bench press. That was the exercise that you... How you much did, you bench, bro? You'd never ask the guy how much they did anything else. It was always, how much can you bench? You know, it was like your, the way of, that you showed your strength. So it was a very, very popular exercise. Everybody did it. Mondays in gyms was like national bench day, and you'd see all the benches taken up. And literally, you know, in the gyms I would manage, they would have between five to six flat benches because they were always taken and used. And, you know, but bodybuilders, they used to do a lot of flat bench, but then later on, you notice that a lot of them mainly did uh, incline exercises. And they said that it would create a better, more aesthetic looking chest. I tend to agree with that. I think, I, although the bench press is a mm. phenomenal exercise for developing overall, you know, chest mass, I think in terms of aesthetics, most guys are probably better off mostly doing incline exercises. Yeah, I would catch myself. Uh just living near the bench uh, section, like Mondays, like that was like my thing. I would do incline, then I would do flat bench, and then I would do decline. They were like all in a row. And, you know, going through, I definitely found the the value in incline bench, and I actually enjoyed that and would feel like, you know, it did have an impact on the growth of my chest overall. I did not have that same feeling about the decline bench. I pretty much find that exercise worthless. I don't know what you guys think. I would I would go dips over, over a decline. Yeah, yeah, decline didn't do Any shit. Day. No, I didn't. I, so somebody asked me on my questions, actually, a similar question to this, that saying that, you know, is, is it true that uh, incline uh, – bench press, it will do more for your chest development than any other exercise. And I said, I can make that argument, you know, uh, I can make the argument the other way too. Like if that's all somebody did, right. You doing something different would actually be of huge value. So if you were a hardcore incline barbell bench presser, and that's what you did mostly, and you never did flat or you never did dips, or you never did flies, then the obvious would be true. Doing one of those would actually do give you the most development in your chest. But I think that why the why that's true or why your point is true, Sal, is because I think that as if you once you get introduced into the bench press, it's like the staple move that you know for young boys for sure, like to measure strength. Like, oh, what do you bench, bro? Oh, mm -hmm. you you know. And when you tell someone what do you bench, you go off of the flat bench. You don't go off the decline. You don't go off the incline. It's right. like what do you flat bench is your your number. Mm -hmm. Because of that, you spend most of your time trying to get good at that, and you neglect. Uh, the incline bench. And I just think that, you know, the upper chest, when you develop the upper chest, the, it looks, uh, it makes your chest look so much more impressive. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, for sure, this was a, a major focus when I first was getting into competing. And, you know, when you've been lifting for 10 plus years, you know, it's hard to, you know, I don't care how good at your programming or whatever, it's hard to see like really massive changes in your physique. And, that was probably one of the biggest changes I set out, and I've talked about it on the podcast more than once. I set this goal out, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna incline bench so much that I want to catch my incline bench to my flat bench. So that was like a big goal of mine, like how close can I get my numbers? Mm -hmm. Can I get my, in, can I incline almost as much as I flat bench? And the result of that ended up being the most impressive chest that I had ever built over the two decades of lifting, and so. Um, I always encourage uh, lifters to do more incline chest press, especially if you're if you're in this game for the aesthetics. You're trying to sculpt and build a physique. I think it's one of the best things you can do. Yeah, I, th I think the fun the, the flat bench is great, especially when you're first starting lifting. But uh, an incline lift, incline lifts, your your whether it's with the barbell or a dumbbell or dumbbells, is really important for the aesthetic look. Women in particular, I think, uh, because they're because they have breasts, working the upper chest probably is going to give them more of aesthetic appeal um, than the flat bench. And then here's the thing. If you want functional uh, ability from your presses, uh, overhead presses are one of the most functional exercises. Incline presses are closer to an overhead press than a bench is. And then for that kind of functional strength like you would get from a bench press, I think dips are, are really, really good exercise. They're, it's going to give you that. that oh, yeah. A similar kind of functional strength that you may need in a sport. And then if you think of the pushing movement in sports, 
it's often at an incline. Like if you're in football, you don't you very rarely push someone away standing straight up or leaning back. It's usually leaning forward. You're using your hips along with the press. That mimics more of an incline press. If you're throwing a punch in, you know, not that pressing necessarily makes you stronger at punching, but it does work some of the muscles that are involved. Incline probably translates better than a flat uh, as well. The other case I'll make for it, uh, besides just developing the chest, is that it's I, I liked it later on. It, you know, when I started to do it more myself, I realized that it actually puts you in a, a more favorable position for uh, mechanics. It's easier for sure. Yeah. So the incline, because part of getting good at bench pressing, uh, you 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 need to learn to be real to retract and depress the shoulders down. Uh, so you can engage more of the chest and you don't roll forward. And since most people, that's the common thing, right? So you get a client, you lay them on a flat bench. Uh, one of the hardest things to get them to understand is, you know, to not let their shoulders protract forward mm -hmm. and push with their, their triceps and their shoulders and get, teaching them to be able to retract the shoulder blades back while they press to engage the chest. That's like one of the hardest things to teach when you're when you're teaching a client especially somebody who's fairly new to lifting. What I found was when I would take that client over to an incline, because of the angle, the angle naturally lets the, the scapula kind of drop back down and like back into your back pockets, right? So it naturally pulls the shoulder blades back and down. So it actually was easier to get clients into the proper form and mechanics uh, on an incline. So I then began to teach that first before I would teach a flat bench once I pieced that together. Yeah. Now here's the thing too. If you want to see what kind of chest you'll develop um, from focusing more on flat or more, because flat definitely is probably more of an overall mass builder. You look at the chest of the seventies, they did favor the bench presses a lot. Look at Arnold Schwarzenegger, this really big chest, this kind of square look to it. Um, you could look at power lifters who converted to, to bodybuilding. So they built a strong foundation of bench press. Um, Ronnie Coleman was a power lifter before he became Mr. Olympia, and he still did a lot of bench press. And you look at his chest, and yeah, he has a little bit more lower than upper, but he's got this really big, full-looking chest that was hard to compete with, whereas always focusing on the upper chest, maybe you'll have less mass, but you'll you'll have maybe more of a, of a balanced look. So they're both very impressive. Uh, both exercises are important, but if your goal is upper chest, then I would just do all upper uh, chest exercises when you're doing your presses. I wouldn't do any flat bench if that's an area that's lagging. 